Open up. What are you? See you. Welcome, welcome. So long. Here's the eternal ah. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Chance to surrender on Orthodox books. Fine, Mitch. You know, right. was and back there and locked in the freak. Your pardon? Witcher. It even sounds proud. My child's fallen ill. Another sleepless night. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately? I've got a monster under me bed. Will you help? Uh! Mm. Just this morning. Use. 
Some mysterious murder is happening in some else. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? One of the people I told you about. A gesture of gratitude. Can we go? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Wrong direction. Horson's headquartered on Temple Isle. So I thought. But I think we should check something first. Zoltan claims the word in town is we're more likely to run into Horson around here. <coughs> Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. Oh, he's a war veteran. Spare me a crown. So his mother paid Mr. Reuben, and they let the boy go. Aye, I heard about that as well. Ah, life. Oh. Ah. Get out of here. Not what I thought I'd find. Orson Jr. wasn't a pious man. But there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once. For his life, since the gods disliked Jr., they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret. That at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death. For he had had the courage then to do so. Courage he would never have again. Wonder what happened to him. We'll soon find out. Who? Who's there? Remember me? You. You can. You little ass fucked whore. You. You pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy, you cocksucker! I've naught left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. No! Oh, you little shit! way here, I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. Power of the Eternal Fire. This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's Dee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Helped me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The double guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. You're always getting into trouble. I take after you. What can I do?
Hey, free boy. What do I got to do to get a lovely pallet like yours? <laughs> Geralt? Gave you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. That girl! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. All right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. Hello, Sam. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Mm. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because mm. the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Oh. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. This friend of yours? Indeed, indeed. There! Baldo! That beat me at last. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Hagar, you're incorrigible. 
Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our knights for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Giving you a head start. Ah, oh. nobody wants you. Here. Faster, you're trailing. Watch where you're going, or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Oh, just want to admire you from the side. Still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know. Perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. Huh. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? <sighs> well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be. At long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? <sighs> what awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least.
You worry too much. What will be, will be. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Meaning? Ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Uh, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. The sooner you get rid of that illusion, the better. What do you mean? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. Believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. seem like the best idea. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg.
Just buy the horses. Why can't you? With what coin? Siri gave you a full pouch. Enough for one at most, whereas at the least we need four. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. None of this concerns us. This does concern me. These are my friends. They'll manage on their own. If Siri wishes to ride with us, she should. She's not your property. I won't let her risk her neck for thieves. What is this? Have you gone mad? We were to revel, not to punch each other to a pulp. I had a falling out with Ciri's companion. Ciri, much as I hate to say it, I think it's time the two of you left. I know. The magic's gone. Sorry. I'm going down to the riverside. I want to take a walk, be alone for a bit. Sorry for that. You've no need to apologize for acting according to your nature. I'll meet you back at Dandelions. <laughs> 